Today I review the highly anticipated Maverick Optic. What's going on Third Army? Today I'll be reviewing the newly released Maverick Optic. I've had a great time with this head so far. I actually got to see some uh, CAD renderings of the head before it was even put into samples. Then I got to see some samples and now have the final head. And uh, it was a great experience seeing it go from initial drawings all the way to the final project over at Maverick. And I think they absolutely knocked it out of the park. Here is my Maverick Optic High School with a privateer pocket with custom 15 mil throne mesh. Up top, we've got a crown top in black and yellow, black sides, black throat, black nylons, yellow shooters, and black locks. Strung up really nicely um gave me a little bit of issues because it's not a pinched head um but nonetheless came out really really nice it's got that nice mid pocket and a gorgeous channel to it getting into the geometry of the head i actually had the pleasure of talking with the designer of the head um, about the metric and the things i did and didn't like about it and i think they really took it to heart and they really just you know completely implemented it on the new optic and i love it starting off with the top scoop beautiful flat thin top scoop absolutely love the dimension of the top scoop going to be very very easy to uh to scoop up ground balls uh, my favorite part of it though has to be the, the top string holes um the metric they're a little bit wonky on this they're absolutely perfect one of the cleanest top strings nice and big six of them perfectly placed gives you a really clean top string and on the back we have a usa stamp because this head is completely made in the uh, united states so i just absolutely love going out of the sidewall hall is beautiful bunch of sidewall holes starting all the way high at the top and all the way going to low on the bottom. Uh, another thing on the metric is the sidewall holes went from big to small. These are big going all the way through, strings up very, very cleanly. And at the top, there's actually kind of rounded, long rectangles, which I love. It's able to really stack your strings, make it look really clean, really neat, get the mesh nice and tight at the top. Uh, again, on the metric, it was hard to get two through, so they definitely listen to that. Uh, probably my favorite thing about the sidewall, though, is it actually tapers in the back, which allows you to really wrench down your sidewall to really pull that mesh tight to the pocket, allowing you a really nice channel, able to break in the pocket more, uh, not going to have a lot of slack in there less string just awesome i love the taper on the side coming down to the bottom here um, we have a beautiful maverick optic ball stop and it says high school or universal kind of legion theme i really really like that um, and then on this side we have optic on the inside on the back you have high school or you depending on what it is and then the jewel itself they did this on the metric which is really nice this one actually looks like it's set into the head which is just a nice detail it's white and chrome um, beautiful look to it uh, probably one of my other favorite cues is the front of the face uh, is pretty much matte and then the inside is shiny so it's a nice two-tone element there um, they really just looked at everything this head and decided to make it look as nice as it possibly could um, the struts on the inside have um, a little void in them um, keeping this head light it only weighs 4.5 ounces very very light head really nice and up to here we have a, an engraving of maverick um, which looks really, really clean. The face shape of the optic is most similar to a stallion. So they got a nice gradual face shape to it. And then um, the sidewall, they're saying the level two bottom rail is most like a Nas, which I really love. There's not really a head that capitalizes on that shape um, besides the Nas. And it's gonna lend itself to a nice mid-low with a nice gradual return. So you're gonna have a really deep, solid feeling pocket um, in the lower part of the head and then a nice clean, accurate release coming out of the top. Um, in terms of the stiffness, it's a very stiff head for having so much void in here and everything being cut out. Um, I really like that. As you guys know, I like stiff heads like the metric makes it very accurate. And then since it's very gradual at top, it's going to have a nice flex to it when you shoot, um, just channeling the head a little bit more, giving a little bit more accuracy, but nice and stiff on ground balls and stuff like that. Um, I think it's one of the nicest um, kind of dichotomy between stiffness to um, overall accuracy or flex to the head. Um, I can just see it being good at ground balls, everything, um, because where the flex is and actually the plastic that it's made out of, it seems very high quality. So that is the Maverick Optic. Um, again, I had a great time seeing this head come from concept to final product, and I think they did an amazing job. As much as I was a fan of the metric, I think they just upped it even more in the optic, and I'm excited to see where they go from here. Let me know what you think of my Maverick Optic in the comments below, and if you guys picked one up this weekend, definitely let me know what you think of it yourself. That's everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Problem where I just guesstimate. Everything? Guesstimate. But not even like close. It's What's like. What's the difference between guessing and estimating?